Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Road to Pro. Today I want to talk about singles drills that are going to help you get better at the transition game and general singles play when it comes to playing foosball. We're here just kind of hanging out in my house because the wife's out doing whatever women do, which includes shopping, and uh, I'm going to be watching the boys for a little bit. They're maniacs, absolute maniacs. Let's first go over and say hi to the one and only Brooks. Say hi, Brooks. Hi. Atta boy. And the one and only Cooper, the other joy of my life. Say hi, Cooper. Hi. Atta boy. So, guys, right before we get on the table, I want to explain a couple things. Singles is a whole nother type of game. It's one of those types of games where your doubles and just your general gameplay doesn't mean that you're going to win. Just because you can pass the ball, just because you can shoot the ball, doesn't mean that you're going to win. What do I mean? Well, in singles, a lot of times, you will find that Yay! you win or you lose by scrap, transition, things like that. If you can't win in the transition game, you're not going to necessarily be able to win the match. Nobody's going to pass, shoot, and score 100%. It's just not going to happen. The greatest of the greats don't even do it. But with a couple of these tips that we're going to show you here in just a second, it can really up your game and help you win more matches. Let's go jump on the table and let's see what we've got. What do you think, Brooks? Get on the table? Exactly. All right, everybody. Let's take a look at some singles drills. This one is probably one of the most important. You're going to start off with taking your three and your five, putting them against the far wall. Have the three or the opponent's five bar off the wall with a good amount of space. This is a drill after all. Now you're also going to want to keep this area of the table open so the ball can hit off the back wall. Trust me. Now, come over to the table, jump in the goalie area, and set up your pull shot. You can do this in reverse for a push shot, but you guys know how I feel about a push shot. Now, it's very simple. You're going to take the ball and you're going to hit it off of the back wall by basically doing a wall pass. This is a two-part drill. First, you're learning to get a pass. In singles, it can be very valuable. Part two, this is also teaching you transition. So as you pass, you have to jump up and cradle the ball as it comes off the back wall so that you can catch it. By doing that, you're not only learning transition, you're learning a great skill of passing the ball to yourself. You're going to want to do that pass over and over again until you can do it very quickly. Because in the heat of a match, you never know when you're going to really need it. Now, let's go to the next step. Same idea, different execution. You're going to want to do this as a pull push kick pass with the same idea. And if you do it right, you actually don't even have to move this guy. He can just come down and he catches the pass. Which I didn't do, but because of the practice here, you're going to learn that even if the, you mis-execute, like I just did, you still learn in transition how to catch loose balls. Another good option is just a basic lane pass. That one's one of my favorites. Most people don't expect it, and it's an easy one to catch when you practice it a bunch. If you want to really take this to the next level, and this is difficult to do, I must say, take the opponent's five bar and point it forward. Next, actually intentionally shoot a pull shot slider which comes across the table at an angle, into the five bar. You're going to want to attempt to catch the ball with your five bar. This is actually very difficult to do, something I'm not even great at, especially right now because I'm trying to come back to the game. This is the part right here that I found myself struggling the most at in singles. I'd intentionally do my slider into their guy, and I'd miss it on my five bar. But by practicing this, 
you get yourself ready for the loose ball. Even if it just comes off randomly and rolls and stops dead for you, which I just so luckily enough happened to do so. But the more you practice it, the more you learn to get up and transition to be in the correct position to get a loose ball. Singles is so often won and lost on just basic transition games. I can't tell you how many times I've won a match because I was better in transition, but not necessarily a better player. You have to learn all aspects of foosball to be a good singles player. But you still have to have basic fundamentals of a good transition game so that you can take your game to the next level. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Road to Pro. In singles, simple transition game can make or break you and be the difference between winning and losing a match. If you like this video, please do me a huge favor, comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Other than that everyone, have a fantastic day, and happy foozin'.